All right, so I am so excited to be talking with you and be spending this time with you, helping you to accomplish and reach those goals you were looking for and to do this journey alongside of you. We are in it together. I need this as much as you do. We will lean on each other, be a community together, but there are some things you need to do before we get started. So all this week, we're gonna plan, we're gonna learn about meals, we're gonna learn how to grocery shop, we're gonna learn about each other and how to grow as a community. But, um, you know, I also want to focus on the you that's gonna be going through this journey and the you that's gonna be standing in the mirror convincing yourself to do the workouts, to eat the healthy stuff, to skip on the sonic blast and all that good stuff. So, I mean, I'm the first one to say I know how important health is. I have a lot of experience personally um, with the importance of health in my family history with addiction. Throughout my pregnancies, I've realized that if you don't have your health, it's really hard to both maintain your mental health and then nothing else, all these wonderful blessings that you have, you don't really get to enjoy. You don't have this fulfilled life, as they say. What that means is you're tired, you're run down, you're just ugh. And life, as you know it, can be cut really short if you're not maintaining that health. So this is why this is so important to me um, and to the world, really. <laughs> um, so I really want to really emphasize on those days when it's hard, how do you get through that? What are these like notes to ourselves that we need to keep? If you need to stick it on um, your computer where you do your workouts, if you need to carry it along with you, we all have our phones. Um, and I talk to my teens about this all the time in my private practice, but we all carry our phones around all the time. And so if you need those reminders saved to your um, screensaver, do what works for you. Um, if that's the reminder you need, but this is what I want to talk about. I think self Like that power of that self-talk is so important what we say to ourselves how we get ourselves motivated um, How we drag ourselves down, but this is all about empowering you um, And teaching you how to talk yourself through those tough times and you're gonna need this So there are three notes that I'm gonna want you to write to yourself as you go through this journey so it's good to be prepared so we're being proactive so we're not getting to this <laughs> obstacle that is gonna come life happens right i'm the first to know i've started and stopped things um you know i've created bad habits pregnancy things come up we get postpartum depression we have more and more kids increased responsibilities these are all reasons we've come up with to stop working out to stop going to the grocery store, to just grab a quick bite. Um, and I don't want that to be your excuse anymore. So we're gonna come up with these three notes to ourselves that we're gonna look at when we just aren't feeling like we wanna do our workout, when we are thinking about throwing in the towel, and when we finish this thing. You know, what is that gonna be like? So your first note to yourself on those days where life is crazy, <laughs> The kids have been screaming the whole car ride home. <laughs> Work has been really tough. On those days, I want you to write a note to yourself about why you're gonna commit to this workout. Why are you gonna commit to this 30 minutes? Okay, so why is this important to you? What do you hope to get out of this? I mean, if you have to say, girl, I know life is tough. It's gonna happen and you can do 30 minutes. That's usually my mantra, so you're welcome to use it if you need, but whatever gets you up pressing play and getting that workout in. You have this huge community behind you where we can do live workouts together um, that I will connect you to, and so you just look at who's doing what workouts when and make it a point to gather in that community and do it together so you don't have to feel alone. Um, there are really a whole lot less excuses. I, you can do your workouts at any time of the day. So if you need to reprioritize what time of the day you're doing it, let's do that. But this is your note on that day, even when you've done all the prioritizing, when you said, okay, I'm gonna do that 430 workout with my group um, and the kids have just like, I don't know, woken up at three instead. Um, and you've had a long day at work, you come home and the last thing you want to do is do your workout, this is the note that's going to propel you to do it anyway. Okay. Then once you got that, two, life happens. Things get in the way. We start to get busy. 
we are thinking about, oh, maybe now is not a good time. You know, I have a lot going on. I started to kind of stop and think about, and I had someone in my larger community talk with me about it in numbers, which I really connect to. And when I thought about it like this, I was like, wow. As moms, we give so much to the world around us. And really as people, people are really good at being kind to each other, giving a lot. But when we break it down and how much are we taking care of ourselves, the workouts that we do take 30 minutes, right? And you have 168 hours in this week. So if you can't give yourself 30 minutes a day, <laughs> We have some serious reprioritizing to do. And sometimes you need to do that. Sometimes you need to take a hard look at what am I putting in place of my own well-being? Because we all know when mama ain't doing well, the rest of the family ain't doing well. It's this analogy I always use. Um, when you get on an airplane and they teach you all those safety um, tricks, you know, or habits or things to keep you safe on an airplane, I guess I really shouldn't call them tips or tricks because you need them. But when the oxygen mask comes down, they tell you and instruct you to put your mask on first before assisting the person on the side of you or even the child next to you. Because if you're not breathing, if you're dying, if you're out of control and stressed, you're not helping anybody else, right? That you have to be able to take care of yourself, be the best version of yourself so that you can really be there for your family, really be there for the people that need you, be there in your job. So let's take care of you. So this note is when you're thinking about throwing in the towel because too many things are getting in your way, I want you to write yourself a note about why not this time? Why am I not giving up this time? Why am I committing to myself today? And I'm going to get through the hard and I'm going to keep going. Maybe I'm scaling back and I'm modifying something. Um, you know, maybe I'm reaching out um to my community and say y'all look i like don't know what to do but i want i don't want to stay stuck in this rut and this is a problem that i'm having with meal planning or you know i can't come up with something or all this happened to me what do you guys do on that day figure it out you can reach out to me personally if you're not like wanting to reach out to the group with that but let's reprioritize your things and you may even have to look at your life and go what am i saying yes to that isn't as important as this. Am I saying yes to all the PTA stuff that's not actually serving me a purpose? Am I saying yes to doing too much at the office and burning myself out? <laughs> you know, am I taking on other responsibilities that aren't mine? You know, and where can I ask for help and those kinds of things? So I really want you to think about when I'm in that place and I'm thinking about throwing in the towel, I'm done taking care of myself, I have too much going on, this is a note you're writing to yourself. Okay, and the last and final note I want you to write out today is the note to yourself when you finish this thing. Okay, when we get through the 21 days, the 80 days, whatever program you're doing, when you finish that and you're committing to this lifestyle, so you're not really done, but you're done with the challenge that you've just put in front of yourself, like today, this month I get through 21 days, right? So you finish this 21 days and you reach this goal when you've lost that five pounds, when you've lost that 15 pounds, when you can fit in those shorts and feel like, yes, you know, when you've reached that goal, I want you to have a note to yourself, thanking yourself for giving yourself this new lifestyle, for taking care of yourself, maybe for the first time, um, how proud you are, how good it feels to kind of do that. So you may have to do some visualization about like, really closing your eyes and thinking about what would it feel like, what would it be like to have that experience? And then thanking yourself. So, the three notes I want you to write to yourself. Number one, on those days that you just don't wanna do your workout, why are you committing to yourself? Number two, when you wanna throw in the towel and you don't feel like doing this anymore, why are you committing to yourself this time? Why is this time not the time that you quit? And number three, a note to yourself when you achieve your goals and you reach them and you're thanking yourself and you're super proud. 
And so I cannot wait to start this journey with you. Um, I'm super excited to watch you go through the transformations that you will, the outpouring and compounding effect that all of your goodness and the way you take care of yourself will have on your family, the community around you, your workplace, all of that um, is so much fun. But remember, we're in this together. So um, everything that comes out of this group, we put in. So I can't just talk at you, we gotta do this together. But at the end of the day, it's you in that mirror. <laughs> and you're gonna get yourself through this. We definitely need a support system, I value that. You know, we definitely need some quality fitness, I value that. We definitely need the right nutrition, but the person that's gonna commit to the changes that you're making is you. And so the only main obstacle standing between you and your success, you got it, it's you. And I believe in you and I trust in you. So there's never a dumb question, please ask. Um, and let's rock this, so let's go. <laughs>